In this video, you will learn how to log a point, change the point code, create a new code, and view log points in a CSV file you have exported to Conix or a USB key. We use the Dozer here, but the video covers the following applications. Dozer, Grader, Excavator. Together with the model for this project, we get a point code list specific for the project. For further information about this, look in the reference manual. We start in the run screen. Let's log a point. You can delete the last logged point here. To change the point code, press and hold the lock button. Here you can see all available codes. In this case, we select seven existing surface. For demonstration purpose, we now log a few points. For further options, press the Quick Access button in the right corner. This brings you to the main menu as built. In this menu, we can change which part of the machine we use for logging points. The options are Height Tool Point, Side Tool Point, a specific position on the blade regardless of the tool point's location, or on the ground in the center of the machine. Right now, it will use the Height Tool Point. Press here for further options with codes. Here you can see the machine specific codes and codes defined with the project. If you need codes not available in the project, you can create them on the panel. These codes will be machine specific codes. Here is how Press New, define a point code, and a lock name. Press the flag to save and store. Now we have created a new machine specific code. Press OK. Press OK again. Here you can enable the display of points locked by other machines on your project. MC1 automatically sends locked points to Conix. From Conix, you can download your points as a CSV file. As you can see, the CSV file has all the relevant information. You can get the same result by synchronizing to a USB key. That's it. You have learned how to log a point, change the point code, create a new code, and view log points in a CSV file you have exported to Conix or a USB key.